Welcome at the Microsuite website. Here you can enter your email address to create your company account. We also ask you for your company name. This way we can create a unique URL where you and your colleagues can go to to find your account. After continuing, we've sent you an email. In this email, you can activate your account. The moment you click activate account, you arrive in a form where you can submit some extra information, such as your first name, your last name, and your telephone. Of course, also your password. And then you can also set your time zone. Okay. After confirming this, you will arrive in your company dashboard. In the dashboard, let's uh, explain uh, the dashboard. In the top of the dashboard, you can find the modules such as Home, Accounts, Sales, Finance, Projects, Workspaces, which is Document Management and HR. Each page also has subpages such as your calendar, notes, your contacts and your profile. On the left side of the dashboard you can set your profile picture, you can find your to-do list, quick links and your bookmarks. Then there's also the menu where you can find my settings and in my settings you can personalize your account by choosing colors, selecting your language and you can also change your logo. You can also connect your calendar to your local desktop calendar. Then there's also the company account settings where you can change things like your company name. Okay, but let's start with adding a profile picture. Let's select this one for now. And now you can see this one is added. I'm alone in the company, so it's nice to create a colleague. Here you can add this information. Carrie will be my colleague. Now you can choose to click save or save and send account information to this colleague. Let's uh, click save for now. The handy thing is now that since not everybody is allowed to see all the modules in, of your company, you can determine their privileges here. First you can uh, choose if they are a standard employee or an external employee. You can select admin roles or give them specific modules such as projects and human resources. We can make them for example a project administrator but even in projects you can also only give Gary for example the timesheet. For now let's uh, keep it simple. We make this person a super admin, which basically means she can do everything in the system. Upload a picture and this is nice because the moment she logs in her picture is there, her settings are there and she can do everything. Now you can see her on the right side of the screen and also in the log you can see that I added her. In the top of the page we can now send messages, for example, to her. And in the yellow introduction field we give you some extra information, such as information about the blue icon that you can always find in the top right of your screens with instructions. Alright, let's add some contacts. Uh, it's very handy to do some imports. Uh, you can get contacts from your LinkedIn, from vCards, from your Outlook, from your Gmail or even from an Excel sheet that you have. I prepared a LinkedIn file. 
and as you can see some of the connections are now in MyCo. We can now select uh, one of them and uh, upload for example uh, his profile picture. The interesting thing is that uh, usually you have about maybe 500 LinkedIn connections. You do not do business with all of them. So it's not necessary to create companies for all of those connections. So here we can browse through the list and with this option you can see the account. You can choose to create this company account for this connection. This will keep your database clean. So for example this is a prospect, so we've added the prospect, we can go to the details now. But let's first add a couple more companies. This is a partner. This name partner comes from my LinkedIn import. Normally there is a real company name. Nice customer, let's create a customer by just clicking save. And the last one, a media company. We can also select, for example, the type other. Okay, we've created a couple of companies now. So we can go to the accounts menu or the accounts module where you can see each of the types as an overview. So now we're in the customer overview. This is the customer we've added. You can uh, also go to the prospects, we've added one of them. We didn't add any supplier, but we've added a partner. You can click on the blue name to go to the detail page of a customer. You can also do some options here. And then for prospect, it's interesting, we've also created automatically an opportunity for each prospect because you want to do business with this company. This is your sales funnel, the opportunities. If you open an opportunity, you have a sales file and for each opportunity you can create proposals, you can create contact moments and even create tasks that you can distribute within your team. After you set an opportunity to one, the prospect becomes a customer. Okay, so uh, this was a short introduction of Microsuite. Uh, we've added uh, your account, we've added a colleague, we've created contacts and created their company accounts. You can find back all the information in the log, eh, everything that happened. And uh, this is uh, a nice introduction to get you started. Other functionalities you can check in our other movies.